but I ain't did nothing. And God said, we got to deal with this flesh because this flesh is something serious. He said, it don't got out of hand. Verse 10 said, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. So what he's saying is that same spirit that woke Jesus up on the third day is the same power that's on the inside of you. See, what we got to understand is you got a choice whether or not you can go off or whether or not you can keep going. That choice is up to you because you got that same resurrection power on the inside of you. And see, the only thing is, whoever that you feeding your attention to, that's who's going to win. So if you, I did this, I did that, I'm going to tell you a piece of my mind, I'm going to let you know this, I'm going to let you know that, I'm going to go off. That's who's winning. That sinful man, that sinful nature, that's the one who's ruling and reigning. I want you to turn your Bibles to Galatians, the fifth chapter. When you look at Galatians, the fifth chapter, look at verse 16. Because if we're talking about dealing with the flesh, verse 16 says, So I say, live by the Spirit, and you would not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. He said, so if you do it God's way, you ain't got to worry about your sinful nature taking over. How you going to know about the sinful nature? You first got to study your Bible. And when I mean study your Bible, I mean take out your dictionary. Take out your concordance. And when you read the chapter, read that same chapter about three times. People try to read their Bible like you're reading a novel. It don't work like that. God can be ministering to you with that one scripture. You can read it every day and get something totally different out of it. And see, that's how you're going to know what the Spirit of God is saying to you. He said, so I said, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify it, the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the Spirit. In the spirit, what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want. Let me tell you about me. I told y'all when sometimes I, I, I thank God for deliverance and I thank God for helping me. But when I needed help, when, and when I would go in the store and I would want to shop, I'd go in there to pay on the credit card. And leave out there spending double what I just paid on the credit card. And I would pick up stuff. Instead, I said, I, I said if I'm going to get something, I'm just going to get two items. And I next round, I said, whew, they got four of them shirts in different colors I don't have. I get in line. Whew, they got the jewelry that match. And I said, I'm going to get one necklace. And I sit there. Well, I don't think I got a necklace with that color. Or either with that one either. Then I go back and get a necklace for every shirt that I got. Then I'll be waiting in line. Then I'll feel convicted. Now, you came here to pay your bill. You didn't come here to get nothing. I'll go and put back two shirts. Get back in the line. And sit there. Watching other folks get that stuff, somebody pick up the shirt right I'm going to go back and get that shirt. And pick up the shirt and get back in the line. And then I say, now I know I got to go pay this other bill over here. Paul, I'm going to put two of these back and I'm going to just get these two. I'm sitting up here going back and put it back, pick it up, pick it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I need some help now. To be walking back in the store, picking up stuff, putting it back. I understand my flesh needed help. And I said, God, I need you to help me because I got a problem with this. So what I start doing, God, when I go in the store, I pray I don't see nothing that I like. Everything looks ugly. 
Don't I look like a freak? 